And so the holidays are upon us. Well, it's that time of year. We're right in the thick of it now, the holiday season. And it's hard not to say something about it. I'm probably expected to say something about it. I find it a stressful time, uh, but I, I'm hardly alone in that. I think most of us find it a stressful time. Some people find it a very distressing time. And I can't pretend that my level of stress approaches distress or that my level of stress is high as it is for some other people. Here in Australia, the holiday season means mainly Christmas and New Year. Thankfully, we're spared the horror of Thanksgiving, which I suspect only makes things worse. But Christmas still has this way of kind of reaching its feelers back, doesn't it? And even as late as November, even mid-November, signs of Christmas are beginning to appear and the pressure starts to be felt. You know, this is a time when you're supposed to be out buying things for people, uh, getting ready for Christmas lunches, um, socialising more than you usually do. And of course, for many people, New Year's Eve after that becomes a time of even heightened uh, celebration and socialising. Now, for anyone who doesn't particularly like socialising, that enforced socialising can be very stressful. We're all required to put on our best faces, to smile, be happy, wish each other Happy Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is we want to say to other people. And so for those of us who just find the normal level of socialization quite demanding, that extra level makes it difficult to deal with. And of course, there are those social butterflies who start sparkling and glittering even more brightly at this time of year. And they lap it up. They love it. And Good for them. I mean, I don't begrudge them that. But there does seem to be some expectation placed upon the rest of us, those who are perhaps a little more tarnished, that we should be shining a little more brightly too. And sometimes the glitter can get a bit much, not only the glitter of the Christmas decorations, but the glitter, glitter of the people who are flitting around enjoying it all. And sometimes quite unconsciously, placing demands and expectations upon us. It can be stressful. Then there's all the disruptions that happen to our routines. Now, I like routine, and perhaps I'm a little bit obsessive, compulsive about that, maybe even a little bit on the spectrum, but not, I think, to an extreme extent. Routine is actually a good thing. You know when things are going to happen. You have expectations, patterns, that are quite comfortable to be in, and uh, I like that. But it's not only a question of being comfortable, I actually miss things that disappear at this time of year. For example, my main outlet for socialization is actually the trivia nights that I go to on Monday and Wednesday nights. And inevitably, around this time of year, there's a break in those, they disappear. And so that leaves a gap in my life, I, I like that. And I don't enjoy anywhere near as much the other social events that replace it. And then there's the music that starts to pepper the uh, top 50 music charts. I listen to the top 50 charts from time to time just to keep up with what's around, what's new. And uh, around this time of year, all the terrible Christmas songs, I'm sorry, the terrible, terrible Christmas songs re-emerge and start to take over the charts. Even if I once liked them, I don't like them now. I don't want to hear Wham and Mariah Carey and God knows what else come onto the charts. So the music soundscape is spoilt to some extent for me as well. There's the shopping that one is required to do. Now, I try to keep that to a minimum. Most of the shopping I do for my grandkids, I do online and uh, get delivered to them. They all live interstate. Uh, there are, though, expectations that you will buy little things for people around you, people in the trivia 
groups, for example. Little things that nobody really wants that are trifles that I don't particularly want them to buy for me. But there's an expectation that you will go out there and you will do something because it's, you know, the thought that counts. But shopping is a terrible experience for me at the best of times. And Christmas time, it is like hell on earth. And I don't want to be out there trying to decide what to buy for this person and that person. I have no idea what to buy and I don't like having to make this, uh, those decisions. It's just not a pleasant experience for me. Again, there are people who absolutely love that and I, I don't begrudge them that at all, but I think they struggle to understand that some of us really don't enjoy that, that it's a horrible experience for us. Now, I don't want to go total Grinch here. Of course, there are good things about Christmas time. And most of us love watching our grandchildren opening their presents and so on. We enjoy the food often at Christmas time. So, of course, it's not all bad. But for some people, it's actually the family times that are the most stressful of all. People are forced together who perhaps don't really get on and don't even want to see each other. So it's not all roses either. I, for one, wouldn't be too upset if Christmas and New Year were wiped from the calendar completely and we were just allowed to get on with our lives. Just before I go, I should mention that I've received a big influx of editing work leading up to Christmas. And I may struggle to maintain the rate with which I'm posting videos here, but we'll see how we go. See you next time.